Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Are you ready for your English class? Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Who can tell me in what situation we use have you ever? Para que usamos have you ever? What is the common use of have you ever? Para que se usa? Who can tell me? Para preguntar si hemos realizado algo. Very good, very good. But something that is not common, right? Not common situations. And also, uh, you use have you ever to break the ice, right? Para romper el hielo con alguien, you can use have you ever. Eh, digamos, estás en una fiesta y conoces a alguien y quieres platicar con esa persona. Eh, tú le dices, hey, ¿alguna vez has venido aquí antes? Have you ever been here before? Or if you're in a restaurant, have you ever eaten here before? Or something like that, right? Um, let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. Uh, together, I would like for us to take a look at, in yesterday's class, we were looking at this video, Simple Past versus the Present Perfect. Uh, today, I would like for us to continue to the next section. For the next section, we're going to have 4.2 Knowledge Check instructions. Read and listen to the following conversations and answer the questions. So let's listen to the audio together, and then we will answer the questions. Um, it's not playing, let me see. That's weird. Were you guys able to listen to it? Listen and practice. There it is. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Okay. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No. I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Ew. That restaurant, I would not go to that restaurant. <laughs> All right. Who can give me the answer for the first one, number one? Read the question and give me the answer. Read the question and give me the answer. Number one. Who wants to answer the first one? Has Kathy ever eaten snails? Yes, Carla. Uh, is the first. Yes, she has. She had snails last week. Excellent. Yes, she has. She ate snails last week. Ooh. Number two. Number two. What did Steve order? Number two. What did Steve order? Is real, teacher. I'm sorry? It's real. It's real. True, true, perdón, true. Ah, okay, okay, true, very good, very good. So, what did Steve order? Steve Pero, ordered the snails? 
Steve ordered the fried brains or Steve ordered a burger? What's the correct one? Steve ordered the fried brain. Very good. Very good. Steve ordered the fried brains. Good job. All right. Number three. Number three. True or false? True or false? The simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. True or false? True, 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 very good, true. All right, number four, what is a correct response to the question, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I did. Yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant last weekend. No, I do. Yes, I do. I eat Mexican food all the time. What is the correct one? Uh, yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant late weekend. Very good. That is correct. That is correct, Doribel. Yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant last weekend. Thank you. And the last one, number five, what is a correct response to the question, did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had some on my way to work. Excellent, Carla. Yes, I did. I had some on my way to work is correct. Okay, good job. Any questions uh, in regards to this activity? Questions about the pronunciation or questions about the meaning of the words, anything like that? Okay, Noemi, thank you. Questions, questions? Questions, questions? No? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. For the next one, we are going to be using receipts for natural transitions. Sequence of adverbs. Um, Sequence of adverbs. Let's watch the video, please. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to and everybody here, those escuchan. Sequence adverbs. And everybody here, those For example, escuchan. you'll be able to take a recipe yes. written on a piece of paper okay. and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime.
Now let me get started by. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this part right here. Everybody listen and repeat. First. 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 Then. Then. Next. Next. After that. After, after that. that. Finally. 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 Right. So these are some examples of sequence adverbs. There are more. I must. Right. You could say secondly, thirdly, um, and then. Right. Those are the most common. So why do we use the sequence adverbs? What is the objective of using the sequence adverbs? The objective is to express a sequence, right? For example, if you are uh, teaching somebody how to cook something, you have to explain the steps. Or imagine that you are teaching somebody how to fix a car or how to prepare a sandwich or how to file books or any, any tasks like that. These, this is vocabulary that you can use for that. Let's go ahead and finish watching the video and then you're going to give me some examples. By explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next, and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together, next toast the slices of bread, after that so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that 
uh, then it needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay. What I would like for us to do in this activity is I want you to think about your favorite food recipe, and I want you to write the steps how to prepare that food in the discussion box. You could talk about making a sandwich, making a pupusa, making soup, um, something that you like. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. One person can share the screen. Ready, let's work. El, el sandwich. Y recipe or the play of it, of food, sorry. Pancakes with with um honey uh, uh -huh. one cup of how do you say harina teacher harina we say flour okay uh one cup of a uh, flour of trigo and i uh, one cup of milk and one egg and I want one, one pickup of sugar and mix it in the bowl. And I... Hi. 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 I entendieron al teacher. Sí, este, lo que yo entendí es que vamos como a anotar los pasos de una receta de lo que nos, nos gusta. Mm, hay que anotarlo, no es plática. No, o sea, ajá, como de escribirlo y creo que eso lo vamos a poner en la cajita de discusión de la plataforma del video. Ah, entiendo. Va, ok. Ajá, lo pueden hacer platicado y después pasarlo a la plataforma. Ok, Tichi. Alguien puede empezar. Pueden compartir su pantalla. Okay. 
Teacher, una consulta, o sea, como que yo diga eh, mi comida favorita, cuestiones así. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish teacher with Saul. Okay, okay. Can I hear your example, please? Uh, who was your partner, Saul or Raúl? Saul y Esmeralda. Oh, okay, good. 
Can you give me your example? Um, to prepare pancakes. Okay. And in bowl and um, put it a cup of flour and I one cup of milk uh, <clears throat> teacher how how do you say cuchara pick up there yeah? cuchara mm -hmm. cuchara is spoon spoon spoon, spoon. okay uh -huh. one spoon in sugar and one spoon in uh, um polvo de hornear Flour. And I flour or bake. Pancake mix. Owen, 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 Owen flour. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, in the them um mix it the uh, every material. The ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mix it. Uh, the ingredient ingre of ingredients and ingredients I, uh -huh. after uh, um, put it the pan pan and the cook hot okay okay after a uh, uh, plate um butter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and after uh, putting the the mixer mm -hmm. the pancake uh, mix uh -huh. um, the pancake mix. The pancake mix. Mm -hmm. And uh, then teacher voltear. Flip. Flip and the Flip. pancake. Flip. Pancake? pancake. No. Pancake. 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 Okay. Flip. 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 The, the pancake. And I after service and of the play on the plat, plate 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 uh -huh. uh, we uh, after uh, apple honey mm. and butter sounds delicious thank you thank you Wendy okay guys uh, it's time for us to take the attendance when I call your name please say present when I call your name please say present. Um, Adriana, absent, okay. Carlos. Present. Excellent. Claudia. Present teacher. Thank you. Doribel. Doribel. Present teacher. Good job. Present, teacher. Good job. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Excellent. Herbert. Present. Thank you. Irma. Irma is absent. Isabo. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Cermello. Eh, Juan Cubillas. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Maravilla. Juan Maravilla. Carla. Present. Thank you, Carla. Leana is absent. Uh, Luis. Present. Excellent. Marco Quijano. Marco Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Maria. Maria. Absent. Okay. Marina. 
Noemi. Raúl. Present teacher. Excellent. René. Present teacher. Good job. Roberto. Absent. Ruth. Absent. Saul. Present teacher. Excellent. Wendy. Present teacher. Good job. So we have absent Ruth, Roberto, Marina, Maria, Marco Quijano, Leana, Juan, Juan Maravilla, Jacqueline Cermeo, Jacqueline Guevara, Isabo, Irma. A lot of people absent. Adriana. All right. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hi. Algunos escribieron, escribieron al, al WhatsApp. JC Maravilla, Marielos. No sé quién es Koala, Adri Portillo y Agus, dice. Oh, okay. Cinco escribieron. Okay. Ah, sí, ya vi. No tiene internet. No puedo ingresar este día clase. No podré ingresar. Las disculpas, no puedo conectar. Okay. So, bueno. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. I would like for us to take a look at the next activity. Uh, we're going to go to knowledge check. Which snacks does this recipe describe? I want you to share your answers, share your answers in pairs, and then we will check together. Comparte sus respuestas con sus compañeros y después vamos a chequear en grupo. Ready? Hold on. Rooms, close all rooms. Give me a second. One second, please. One second, please. Teacher, no me aparece para meterme al, a la, al Baker Room. Eh, ahorita, ahorita los voy a hacer. Es que los tengo que recrear para que no esté trabajando con la misma persona. Van a trabajar con grupos diferentes. Vamos a hacerlo así. Esto va a ser así. Ok, vamos a cambiar grupos. Ready, let's go. Hola, Doribel y Juan Carlos. Hola, hola. Hello, Doribel. Hello, Juan Carlos. You can work with Claudia. Sí, me regresó a la principal, pero veo que ellos ahí están, teacher. Tal vez podemos trabajar juntos. Yeah, with Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, Doribel. Hello. Ya no están. Ok, ahorita la voy a poner en el 2 y de allí otra vez en el 3 con Doribel. Ok, ya le mandé el enlace otra vez. 
Ah, la volví a sacar, ah, pues sí. Es, puede ser por su conexión de internet que le está pasando eso. Do you know? Okay. Do you know this pepper? Yeah. What? What is? What do you mean? Pimienta. Pimienta. Uh, mm -hmm. But hot sauce. Es que salsa, salsa. Hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Caliente. The next. Uh -huh. What's the first step in making a toaster bagel? This is what is the first step in making a toaster bagel? First, best cream cheese before serving. First, cut in half. First, toast it. I think it's toast. First, toast. No, no, never toast. Okay. It's finally toast. Mm. <clears throat> cut in half. First, is spray cream cheese before serving. No, maybe second. And you? Yeah, I first cutting in half. Okay. Okay. But the and next then, three yeah. sequence albert are not in section in section though. Uh, maybe maybe then after that finally first this is which sequence albert are not in section uh, it's after that thing. Maybe fierce. Mm, finally. But I suppose it's only only one. For you, what? And finally, uh huh. Finally, and first. Fierce, okay, it's or two, but mm -hmm. finally, and first, okay. Uh, Veamos, veamos qué dice. Uh, uh, one, uh, me, ah, pues, uh, oh, what is the last time I guacamole? Is, yes. And I think finally a, a little salt, pepper, and hot, hot sauce. Yes, yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Teacher, finally, the 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 exercises. Forty, forty. That's okay. That's good. Uh, let me hear Rene and Juan Carlos. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? I said, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. All right, let's check. Uh, number one, Herbert. Number one, which snack does the reference describe? When the kernel starts to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Gently. Uh, I push, Gently. Uh, pop, pop, popcorn. Popcorn. Excellent. Excellent. Number two, Saul. Sorry. 
is enough steep in making guacamole beef. After that, you have a way. Me salí del grupo de repente. Eh, estoy trabajando, pero este no sé si puedo retornar al mismo grupo. Ah, no, ya terminamos eh, de trabajar ah, en okay. grupos. Ahorita ya estamos chequeando. La uno uh -huh. es popcorn. Eh, Saúl está haciendo la dos. What is your answer? After that shop, papa to mail. Excellent. All right, number three. Number three, Wendy. Number four, Carla. No, teacher. In, 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 in a half. Teacher. Uh, 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 number three. Number What is the first step in making a toasted bagel? Bagel. First, cutting in half. First, cut it in half. Okay, good. Thank you. Teacher. Huh? La number two mm -hmm. is uh, la one. Finally, add mm. little salt. Eso dice ella. Eso pensaba yo. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Ajá, el guacamole. Finally, porque dice finally, finalmente. Sí. Ajá, correct. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, number three, number four, Carla. Um, first and finally. Yes. First and finally. Okay. Excellent work. Excellent work. Correct. Correct. All of them are correct. All right. Any questions in regards to this section? Questions in regards to this section? No? Okay. Uh, now, for the next activity, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be discussing uh, topics referring to food and recipes. I'm going to give you some questions, and you are going to practice the questions asking each other the topics, food and eating. Okay. I'm going to share the questions in the Zoom chat. Todos recibieron las preguntas? Did everybody see the questions? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're going to, one student is going to ask the question. The other student is going to respond to the question. Un alumno va a hacer la pregunta y el otro alumno va a responder la pregunta. The topic is food and eating, food and eating. We're going to recreate the groups and let's go. We have the, the question in WhatsApp. Okay, who begin? Uh, I begin who answer? Who answer? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm sorry. Who 
usted va a responder. Ok, no hay problema. Está ah, ok, bien. entonces le pregunto. Eh, are you a good cook? No, I am. Eh, are you a teacher? How do you say vegetarian? Vegetarian. I sing vegetarian. Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. eh, amido. Bueno, este, voy a pasar al siguiente mejor. Eh, are you concerned about your daily calo calorie intake when choosing something to eat? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, uh, I am. Do you, do you know what the meaning that? Eh, por lo que entiendo es de que si, como que si mira o, o sí, las calorías, ¿verdad? Exacto, para ver si es correcto. Ok. Eh, veamos. Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, yes I am. Yes, yes I did. Where this is this? Ah, okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, do you always eat dinner with your family? Mm, never. I am single. Oh. Uh, do you always eat vegetables? Mm, Sometimes only. Sometimes. Okay. Um, do you cook? If yes, what food do you cook the most often? Uh, Sometimes, but uh, maybe eggs, uh, beans, uh, cheese, uh, bananas only. For, for dinner. Okay. For dinner. Oh, okay. Um, do you drink milk every day? No, sometimes, only sometimes. Do you, you eat beef? Mm, never. Beef, beef. Beef is a uh, uh, beef. Uh, Beef, what do you mean beef? Eh, si no me equivoco, es como la carne, carne de res, creo que sería, ¿verdad? Ah, bistec, sí, o oh, yes, beef, va. Uh -huh. Beef, sí. beef, ok, eh, eh, never. Oh. Mm. Do you eat fruit, fruit every day? Always. Yes, always. Yes, I do. Yes, I do always. That's good. <laughs> and last one. Do you eat bread every day? Bread every day. Uh, breakfast. Breakfast. Uh, Vaya banana, banana y frijoles, ¿cómo se dice? Beans. Beans. Ya ni le voy a poder preguntar yo. Ok, the next. Se um, puede, hombre. Do you drink milk every day? Yes. Yes, good, good. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I do, I, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Do you drink tea every day? No, no, I do. Uh -huh. I don't. Um, do you eat, do, do you eat beef? 
¿Qué significa beef? Um, carne, creo. Pic. Carne, carne, ¿no? carne de res, sí. No, era. Ah, yes. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. uh, do you eat bread every day? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. No, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I siempre I do. Do you eat breakfast every day? Yes, I do. Do you eat fruit every day? Yes, I do. Do you eat lunch at school every day? Um, no, I no. I did ever. No. I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Okay, how much does lunch usually cost at a school? Repítame, quiero ver si le entiendo. How much does lunch usually cost at a school? No, no, I don't. ¿Cuánto Oye. le cuesta usualmente su almuerzo en la escuela? Ah, ah por eso en la escuela. No voy a la escuela. Ay, no. Pero, Ay, Shane, Shane. En el, en el trabajo. You... <risa> Ask me a question, please. <risa> Twini. Twini. Um, Twini. Ay, pero. Twini. Fifty five. Ok. Dollars. Ok. Ask me a question. You and me. Dos cincuenta y cinco. Hágame las preguntas usted a mí. Ay, no, no voy a poder. Ay, ¿Cómo no, Doribel? Inténtelo. Si no lo intenta. Ay, Dios. Es que ni sé por qué me metí en este módulo y te voy a arrepentir. Quiero. Um, do you. Las preguntas que salen en el WhatsApp, Doribel. Es que a veces, que como estoy en el mismo teléfono, me cuesta estar ah, hablando. Míreme, espere. Vamos. Ah, vaya. Ahí está. Are you a gold cook? Yes, I am. Mm. Are you a vegetarian? No, I, I am not. Are you concerned, concerned about your day? Así vea. Daily calorie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. intake when you choosing some time to eat. No, I am not. I what time do you usually eat your meals? Breakfast and I eh, at a a.m. The lunch and uh, eleven and a half. And I dinner um eighteen eighteen o'clock or eighty a half p.m. Can you cook will? Yes, I am. Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. Did you eat lunch today? Yes, I did. Do you always do you always do you always eat dinner with your family? Yes, I do. Do you always eat vegetables? Como se dice vegetable, vegetable. Veg vegetable. ¿Cómo? Hello. Hola. ¿Todavía sigue? No le escuché. No okay. le escuché. Ok, ahorita. Eh, do you cook? Mm -hmm. If yes, what food do you cook the most often? No me escuchó, sí. Sí, cómo no. 
Okay. Eh, la comida que más hace más. Sí, más... sí. Que, no, pero dice si cocina en casa. Sí, 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 sí. Si cocina. No, no cocina. Ok, no. You don't, you don't cook. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I don't. But... Yeah, yeah, you don't cook. Do you drink milk every day? Hello? Sí, sí. No, I don't. Do you drink tea every day? Mm, tampoco. <laughs> de I, la mía ni el temo. I don't drink. La leche, pero no. Ah, the tea también, no. Do you eat beef? Eso sí. Yes. Yes, I do, sería. Sí. Do you eat bread every day? No todos los días, pero de vez en cuando. All right, guys, thumbs up, thumbs up. It's already time to go. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you back on Monday. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Enjoy. Bye. Enjoy. Get some rest. Eat some pollo campero, some pupusas, something delicious. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Teachers, you do see you Monday. The next see you, Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you.